Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. So today I wanna to talk about how to build authority in the network marketing industry and how can you do that even as a newbie, as a complete newbie into the industry. If you've never done anything like this before, you're looking to join an online business, uh, start um, a, a network marketing opportunity, or you're looking to just generate or make money online, okay? Um, and you feel you just don't have the authority, you feel you don't have the kind of the credibility, you haven't built up muscle in the industry, and you feel that that, you know, you're thinking that that's important because you see, you know, a lot of people are kind of going out there, they're sponsor shopping, they're looking for a sponsor. And I'm going to talk about why people do that anyway. And, you know, is it a good thing that they do that? Or, you know, is it is it understandable that they do that? Um, and how can you take advantage of, you know, coming across as someone who is authentic, you know, right? You know, I'm not suggesting for a second and, and you definitely shouldn't be, you know, lying about who you are. And I, I, and I want to touch on some areas that actually, you know, this, some of the stuff that we're doing in our team that we're implementing really actually helps you if you, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, earring, obviously earring on the side and you should be uh, of authenticity uh, and coming across as a real person rather than trying to be something that you're not just so that you can get that initial sign up. It's ridiculous. I mean, you know, I have to be honest with you guys and it is a big myth. People think that they have to have muscle in the industry. People think they have to have, um, you know, they have to have um, authority um, or build up some kind of, uh, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, experience in the industry in order to be able to generate a lot of signups, all right? So we're gonna to touch on that, all right? Because I'm gonna talk a little bit about my background because some of you know the story. I'm getting a lot of people, new people coming to my uh, my channel here. I'm, I'm working on some strategies myself that you know you guys can definitely implement uh, that's gonna help you you know launch your own channel. So, um, and I know I'm getting a lot of new people. So for those people, you know, just a little introduction. So my name is Edward Keats really grateful that you're here today. I do put out a lot of content here on YouTube every single week, multiple times a week, about how to help you to crush it in the network marketing industry. Um, and we've got a free Facebook group that I'd love to welcome you to, um, uh, our own little community. Um, I say little because guys, that's the whole point of this video is I don't want you to think that I'm just some guru who's got thousands of people following me. Um, I mean, the truth is, you know, if you, if you want a little bit, a bit of backstory, I have managed to get to the top of the different leaderboards into different companies. And those that you know me uh, know that I have been able to do that. And the current opportunity that I'm a part of, I've built up a team of over 100,000. All right. And I've uh, built up to the, some of the leadership ranks in that company. And I've recruited over 350 people in just, you know, um, just, oh, just over a year of joining. Well, 1.5, one, one and a half years of, since I joined that company. Um, and I'm at the top 30, you know, I'm within the top 30 of that uh, on the leaderboard um, with a company of over 1.3, uh, 1.3 million people. All right. Um, we're talking active me members there. So, you know, I don't want to make this video about me or about, uh, you know, oh, I've done this, I've done that. So I don't want to, you know, to think that I've, you know, I'm coming across as a guru, but I don't also don't want you to think, you know, that like, who am I, you know, why should you listen to me? All right, guys, I'm not here because I think that you should listen to me. I'm just saying that if I've if I've generated a few uh, skills possibly in this industry um, that maybe are a few steps ahead of you in certain areas. All right, because I'm listening to a lot of people. I'm, I'm learning from a lot of people um, and I'm even learning from people in my downline, obviously. In fact, I've joined some of my downline members into different opportunities. Um, and I love that because, you know, we're, in, we're all in the same game. We're all, we're all a community. We're all a family. And, um, you know, I'm looking, I'm not looking at, you know, I'm not looking down on anyone. Okay. So we're, it's, it's an even playing field and that's what I want to say. So like I say, you know, if you want some, some advice, some tips and some, some gold nuggets, some recommendations, some suggestions, get into our free Facebook group on the link below. Love to welcome you there. So anyway, as I say, you know, does it, do you have to have authority in order to get signups in this industry or in order to get traction, in order to build a, a, a team? And the answer is absolutely not, guys. And, um, you know, people think that you have to have hundreds, you know, or, you know, several hundred people in order to, uh, that you've personally sponsored in order to build a big team. And 
you know, some of the biggest income earners that you wouldn't realize actually are not even on the leaderboard. Okay. And, and I know particularly, you know, in some of the teams throughout Europe, and, and I've got some of those great people in my own downline, you're not going to see them on the leaderboard. You're not even going to know that they exist. All right. They're not even on social media. They don't necessarily do uh, YouTube a lot or they don't get themselves out there. And they're not this sort of rah-rah type person that you sometimes see. Um, you know, you've got a lot of people who would even say to you, well, why do you even want to be on the leaderboard? I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing. I'm just saying that, you know, some of the richest people, some of the people who are building the biggest teams in this industry are not even looking to get on the leaderboard. You know, they've, they've focused on sponsoring, you know, a handful of people themselves, and then they support their team to build a handful of people them, themselves, and they build, you know, they're working within the circle of influence within each of the people, within, within each of the group of the people that they work with. Um, and by doing it that way, you're structuring yourself very, very well um, in order to build a very, very substantial business organization and I've I, I've known people and I do know people who have built up teams of several hundred thousand who you'll never ever know you'll never ever probably never meet you'll never you know you'll, you'll, you'll probably never see them on social media or anything because they're not really doing that much of social media um, and they're just working with a, a the handful of key people that they're working with on the front line but they're working with key people and the, their key circle of influence within their team and then down line um, they, they're, they're focused on Zoom calls on their own personal group and they're supporting their team because, you know, they've built up a kind of a conversion mechanism that supports and duplicates in such a way that really builds the community and their community and their community that duplicates beautifully. All right. Now, I'm, it sounds like this is this is just, uh, you know, wishful thinking. But guys, I'm not saying, you know, if you've been trying to figure out what most of the gurus are trying to teach you to do on social media, getting all hyped up, how's that working out for you? All right. What I'm saying is work with less people, but figure out how to get those key people. All right. Wouldn't you rather work with, you know, let's say six to 10, maybe, maybe 15, maybe 20 people max, um, who are also following the same duplicational uh, methods that you're implementing and putting into place that already exist and are already proving to work rather than trying to you know message thousands of people and most of them are just saying no and sort of leaving you very th thoroughly frustrated um, because everyone's telling you no because they're all shopping around for the guru they're all shopping around for the for the expert so guys you know I would honestly urge you and encourage you to, to work with a very proven method that doesn't need you to get to hundreds of people you know people always talk about okay we've got to work it's a numbers game you've got to work with a lot of people you know you've got to try and figure out how to work with 50 people a day how, how to make you know build new connections yes you have to do a lot of that but wouldn't it be easier if you had a very clever conversion mechanism set in place that does most of the initial work on an on autopilot all right i'm not a big fan of Auto automating the whole process but you know companies big companies or major systems outside the network marketing arena will actually tell you that you know even if you even if you go to you know and you start trying you know trying to um, sign up for a job interview they're going to shortlist you anyway I mean that's the process we're talking about here is is kind of shortlisting all and, and filtering out and sifting out the the people that you're probably not going to be working with anyway using an automated method that's easy to set up and implement, that's free to use, all right, Pre using tools that you're already using anyway, um, so that, you know, by the time you get to work with the key pe people that are potentially going to be working with you, um, then, you know, you're, you're really freeing up your time during this process and you're only going to work and have conversations with people that are positive and that are, you know, that are, pleasant and eager to work with you even if they don't end up joining you at least you know you're not necessarily burning bridges and getting a lot of haters you know you're just working with the key players you know that are potentially going to want to join your community want to join your team all right so i have a kind of a very clever facebook group method that i love to that, I, that i'm working with now and a lot of my team um, but it's not the kind of the facebook group method that uh, you know you may be used to 
And you may be someone who's already set up a lot of Facebook groups in the past, <clears throat> but um, using this particular method, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's just going to be very powerful uh, and very doable for even the complete newbie just to get a handful of people on, on board with you without, you know, you needing to be um, a guru or coming across as a guru or coming across as some expert or feeling that you have to have muscle in the industry. No, guys, leading with value first is what I've always done. All right. Using the group method as kind of um, the lead magnet in itself. All right. But as they come on board, we've put we've implemented a few step by step processes that actually kind of, you know, warm these leads up in a very clever way that by the time you've set the group up and you've got people on board and in the group, in, in other words, in your community, uh, and you follow the group methods um, step by step and the setup process, you're going to have a nice little community. And I, and I emphasize the word little community because your team are going to duplicate this in the same sort of way that's going to allow you to become the leader that maybe even nobody even knows you exist. And, and, and brilliant, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't that be wonderful to be able to, you know, run an organization that actually in reality is going to allow you to have maybe even hundreds of thousands of people in your organization down line, but you've only sponsored, you know, relatively small numbers of people. All right. Now, I'm not going to I'm not going to hype this up and say that, you know, you, you only need to talk to two people. That's ridiculous. You're going to need to talk to more than those more than two people. You know, some people say, oh, you only need two people and then who bring in two people and bring in two people. Yes, mathematically, that's true. However, wouldn't you rather have an onboarding process that regardless of how the conversation goes, and trust me, it doesn't go in any way like hate or in any way kind of like, um, you know, anything that you need, anything that, you know, that you think you need to be worried about. Quite the reverse, you know, I just have a lot of conversation with people that always end up really, really, you know, kind of lovely conversations with people. Even if they don't end up joining, I just feel you know, that was a wonderful conversation. I love, I'd love to work with this person. It may or may not work out like that because they've got their own focuses or, you know, for whatever reason they can't get on board or whatever. But most of the people will, will probably get on board with you in one shape, in one way, shape or form. All right. Whether it's in the current business that you're promoting your primary business, or whether it may be a, a resource that you're working with, a recommendation, a tool, okay, a traffic resource that's working for you, you know. So, I pretty much guarantee you're going to get a lot of result with this method. So I urge you to get on the link below. Look forward to working with you and uh, get into our group. I've also just posted a masterclass, uh, just a video recording um, of me outlining these steps. But but first, before you grab that, I, I do urge you to go through, um, answer the three questions on your way into the group. I'll let you into the group. Um, but grab the, the, the free download. This is a PDF download that's rebrandable. This is part of the system, okay? Um, it's part of, the, part of the whole onboarding and conversion mechanism that's really, really vital. It's really powerful. It's flexible, guys. It, it, it allows you to implement, you know, the strategies that are already, already working for you. Uh, but it gives you some extra powerful tips and advice uh, that you can implement and using these tools because they're rebrandable. Um, so that's in the pin post. Um, I'll also tag you and welcome you. I'll send you a message. I'll send you a friend request. Looking forward to working with you there. Um, and we can connect and maybe maybe jump on a Zoom together so that we can get you started in the in the business that I'm passionate about. Um, and, uh, you know, so that you can potentially work with us. All right. But uh, once you're in the group, you'll be able to get access to all my value, all my recommendations and follow this really clear and easy step by step process. All right. If that if that uh, means a lot to you and uh, if that um, motivates you in any way, love to work with you. All right. Get on the link below and uh, get on board and uh, look out for my message because I'll be messaging you privately um, because I'm, I'm so you know excited about the connection. All right. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, see you on the inside. Bye for now.